Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and uh, a few weeks ago I put a video up helping a friend of mine who also uses PowerDirector as a video editor and uh, uh, he wondered how to put borders on the inset uh, pictures and so that's what this video is about and we'll, couple of, we'll cover a couple of other things too. But here I've got, uh, let's see, I will just, I'll just get rid of this video for a second. Uh, here I am taking off my my uh, my bebop. We'll, we'll run this back to the very beginning, and uh, you can see it's sitting on my cardboard liftoff machine. And then <clears throat> in the in the the other video, uh, you can see I'm standing there looking at it. And so uh, we're, I've got them pretty well closely synced. And uh, so we're gonna we're going to. Uh, make the the lower video by the way with video editors the top line is the main video and uh, so uh, that way you can put effects on it and so forth like that and put the sound on and then every video on the lower uh, timeline it, it piles up the next video down would be on top of the top video any other video that's down further would be on top of both of the videos so as it goes down it like stacks up the videos on top of each other as far as the physical layout but it, it works better if you if you have the main video at the very top so that's why they do that alright so wh what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, on our uh, our second video here which is uh, which is what was taken with the uh, the camera on my cap all right the top video was taken with the camera in the in the bebop and the camera uh, in my on my cap uh, is uh, is takes pretty good pictures so this this is the one that we're gonna get make it smaller and uh, we'll be looking through the camera like for instance I can come up here and grab this and just show you uh, we can make this smaller and let go and you can see now it's smaller and there I am there's my feet standing there getting ready to take off my drone so we'll click on undo and get that back where it belongs and let's get started on how to make a border around that little inset so uh, we can we can begin by going to the pip designer or you can just come down and double click on the the, the one that's going to be the picture in a picture that's what PIP stands for okay so here we have it now down in the lower timeline what I like to do is click is create a beginning keyframe uh, for scale which changes the size and position which changes its location on the screen so uh, I start with those and then I can move from there as we go along but he wanted to know how to put borders on so let's go over here to the left hand column and scroll down to where it says border okay and here it is right there so we're going to click on that now we can put a border around our our little PIP uh, video and the border the size of the border we can make it really thick or we can make it really thin I like to use either one or two let's just go with one this time we can also change the blur of the border but I, uh, I that to me doesn't make a lot of sense and then we can change the opacity so we can make a, a kind of a half invisible border so uh, we'll, we'll just go with a, a, a one a statement I don't think that's one pixel it could be but I think it's just a number they use okay and so that's what we now we've got the border on it believe it or not all right now we'll go up to the top here and a lot of times I'll use a shadow uh, around my border and this is where you you insert the shadow now in this case I'm going to be slight I'm going to start I'm going to have this shrink down to a, a smaller size in the lower left hand corner so uh, what we want is we want the shadow around the upper right hand corner so we come down to this little uh, compass thing and we click on the uh, upper right hand like the northeast of it I think you can also click other places maybe not anyway so but now we have to make the shadow have some thickness and uh, three is a standard uh, you can change that by dragging this around uh, like there's a sh there's a distance of 50 but we just want to go with three so we'll uh, we'll go uh, one oh that's gonna do it in many small parts all right we want to go three guys just three I should not have touched that <laughs> all right so we're gonna go over here and type three double click on that and type three and press enter all right now we'll go over here to blur and we want our blur to be I like my blur to be about the same so we're gonna make that 
three also okay so now we've got a shadow and we got blur so I think we've got everything made that we want to want to have made and so we're, we're gonna go down here now and uh, in this lower timeline is where we can change the location and the size of our video okay so let's say that uh, we're gonna go we're gonna watch it take off and by the way don't click don't click the play button uh, because that'll stop you from maybe able to make changes down here so you will it's taken off and we'll give my computer time to catch up all right and uh, yeah well anyway it's in there somewhere we'll get it we'll get it down a little bit here all right right about there that's a good place uh, what we want is we want that to be in the lower left hand corner of our picture so we come up to the upper right hand corner here and we get a, a, a double arrow guy and we drag him down to where we want him down here let's just put him let's just put him right about like that okay do you notice what happened down here in the timeline it automatically put in some uh, keyframes for us okay so that's going to zoom down to that little size when we start the video let's check it out let's go over here and click on ok on the lower right hand side here and <clears throat> go to our movie our video and we're going to we're going to click on movie and stop and make sure we're at the very beginning so here we go you notice how it's dropping down and by the way my computer <laughs> running pretty slow but it's working okay so there we've got it to where we want it okay about that's where that's where uh, it's down to where we where we drew it with our when we we're in the PIP designer now let's do this um, let's uh, go in here and wait until when my neighbor shows up okay cuz he's gonna come over he's just moving in and uh, he's going to come over pretty soon, and uh, he's going to distract me. So let's watch the video, and get, let's see where we are here. Okay, that's too far. Let's go back here. I should have shortened this like I did in the other video I made. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so about right there. Now nope, that's too far. Okay, right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to deliberately deliberately put in our keyframes to hold it in that spot right there. Okay. Now that means that when we go back to the movie, we'll click on OK here. When we go back to the movie, it's going to stay right in that spot. So here we are back to the movie. We'll click on movie and stop, and we'll see what happens. I got a frog in my throat. <coughs> So now we got it down to where we want it, okay? And the drone is going up into the sky, and there you can. Okay, did you hear that? <laughs> My neighbor showed up. Okay, so my video is not uh, not keeping up too well. So now we've got we've got two things happening here. Uh, I don't want to have you everybody hear me talking to my neighbor. So we're going to go down here, and just before uh, my voice takes over, let's put it back just a little ways. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're going to right click on our uh, uh, cap can video, and we're going to unlink the audio and the video. Okay. You notice now they're they're separated, and we're going to uh, click just on the audio, and we're going to cut it cut the rest of it off. So we'll do like that, and we'll right click on that part, and we'll remove it. Okay, so now we've got that done. <clears throat> now let's go back to the beginning and see how it works. There's our PIP video dropping down. And there goes the sound. Okay. Now <clears throat> my vip, my camp, my uh, computer's running so slow. So what we're going to do is we don't want it to just die out. 
So I'm going to show you something else extra here. This doesn't cost anything extra. Okay. We're going to go, uh, well, I'm sorry. We'll click on this and then we'll click on keyframe. And that takes us up here to where we can click on volume. And uh, we'll go back to the very beginning of the video. And you'll notice that it's at zero dB. Whatever came in as the sound, that's the sound. And uh, so what we want what we want to do is we'll go about halfway down that little section there. You'll notice down here, about halfway down that section. And we're going to create a keyframe, OK? And that keyframe is going to say, keep this at 0 dB. But then we're going to take this and we'll go clear over to the end. And we're going to create another keyframe. And that keyframe is going to have the volume all the way down. All right, so we'll click on OK. We'll go back in our movie and we'll hit stop and now we'll see what it does. And by the way, the sound gets way ahead of the picture uh, a lot of times. So we'll see how it works. So that's a much better way to have the sound die out rather than uh, with uh, just dead silence all of a sudden. So uh, you can you can check that out, too. Now, we're, uh, well, pretty soon my neighbor's going to show up, and we want to be able to see him, okay, because he's going to come walking over there. So what we have to do is we have to get this guy here out of the way so we can see my neighbor. So we'll double-click on him, okay, and... <clears throat> Uh, up to this point, we wanted uh, we wanted that to stay there. So we're going to create a keyframe by clicking on these little guys down here. Uh, come on, click on that. Okay, and <clears throat> then those 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 two guys are going to keep it right here at this point. But then we're going to take this guy, and we'll just move the we'll just move a little bit further here, right about there, and we're going to drag him over. and make him smaller. And you notice the two little keyframes that it made for us? Okay, so how about that? We'll go ahead and click on OK. Go back to our movie. Click on Play. It gets jerky, so I'm going to pause it for a second and then keep it going. And pretty soon here comes our switch or switcheroo there. Now that's out of the way, and we can see my neighbor when he shows up. There he comes. You can see me looking over at him, and you can see it in the cap cam. So you'll notice also one thing. Uh, disadvantage of putting a shadow on if you take a look really close here that shadow doesn't have anything on the left ed edge and the, I have no idea how to change that somebody might but I don't know how so uh, at this point in time I think we've learned how to put borders on and we've learned how to move the the uh, PIP around and uh, done some sound work too so I think that's probably good enough for this lesson and uh, oh one other thing I don't know if I've told you about the uh, the Alt Tab trick. You hold your finger on the Alt key and hit Tab. So I'm going to hold my finger on the Alt key and and hit Tab, and you'll see I got a whole all my programs that are running show up there. But let's say I want to go over to Microsoft Word, so I Tab and Tab and let up, and now I'm in Microsoft Word. Now if I want to go back and I, and, and let's pretend that this is the video you're working on, okay? So now you just went over and now you work on your video. Now you can't remember, so you go back, you hit Alt Tab, and it'll take you right back to where you were. And then uh, now that you've gone back and forth between those two, uh, it'll just go back and forth every time you hold up, hold your finger down on Alt key and hit the Tab key. I think that should do it. So that's enough for now. How to make borders around a PIP? And I want to thank you for listening and watching, and God bless.